Russia will only consider negotiations with Ukraine when it believes Kyiv is in a position to threaten Moscow and St. Petersburg. The Guardian reported this, citing sources. The article notes that Kyiv is asking the West for permission to strike deep inside Russia with long-range storm shadow missiles. Ukrainian officials believe that using these Anglo-French weapons in a demonstration attack could show Russian authorities that military sites near Moscow might be vulnerable to direct hits. The thinking, according to a senior government official, is that Russia will consider negotiating only if it believes Ukraine had the ability to threaten Moscow and St. Petersburg. This is a high-risk strategy, however, and does not so far have the support of the US, the article reads. It was noted that Ukraine has been lobbying for months to be allowed to use storm shadow missiles against targets inside Russia, but with little success. Nevertheless, as the Ukrainian army struggles on the Eastern Front, there is a growing belief that its best hope lies in a counter-attack, The Guardian added. Recall, storm shadow missiles were developed primarily by an Anglo-French collaboration and are made by European joint venture MBDA, which also has an Italian partner. But because some of its components are supplied by the US, the White House also has to agree to its use inside Russia. It has so far refused to do so, fearing an escalation of the conflict. US officials told news website Politico that they believed Storm Shadow and other long-range missiles might not be accurate enough over great distances and that the Russian jet fighters that launched glide bombs into Ukrainian frontline areas were largely based out of range of the missiles as a precaution. John Foreman, a former UK defence attaché to Russia and Ukraine, said Kyiv should not get sucked into a sideshow by fixating on possible use of storm shadow and should instead focus on defending the Donbass. Russia is considered to believe it can break Ukraine through attrition and is estimated by Kyiv to have about 600,000 troops inside the country. Capturing Pokrovsk in the Donbass ahead of the US presidential election in November would be designed to demonstrate to a new occupant of the White House that Ukraine was fighting a losing battle. More than 100 Russian conscripts went missing during the Ukrainian offensive in the Kursk region. The parents turned to Russian Z-War correspondents for help, but were harshly refused. This was reported by the Russian opposition publication Important Stories, which spoke with the relatives of the missing. Journalists were able to establish the identities of 125 conscripts from different regions of the Russian Federation who went missing in battles in the Kursk region. Their relatives are being intimidated, demanding that they not bring this topic to the public. Assistants contact the parents of conscripts and explain that it is not worth talking publicly about the capture, death and disappearance of conscripts so as not to play along with Ukrainians and not to confront the authorities, the article says. The parents try to turn to Z-War correspondents for help but were refused en masse. Alexander Kotz, Semyon Pegov, Yuri Podolyaka, Evgeny Podubny, Emil Timashev, and the URA.ru publication were afraid to raise this topic on their resources. They explained their decision with an article about military fakes. Starting a major war against Ukraine, Russian dictator Vladimir Putin promised Russians that conscripts would not fight. This turned out to be a lie. Moreover, Kremlin propaganda is now actively talking about the need to involve conscripts in the so-called special military operation due to the fact that the war has moved to Russian territory. Putin is trying to distance himself from this topic as much as possible and does not comment on it. And this causes bewilderment and anger among Russians. Putin flew to Chechnya to negotiate not about exchanging our children, but about Akhmat. And our guys are of no use to anyone except us complained the mother of one of the missing conscripts. It is known that during their offensive in the Kursk region, the Ukrainian armed forces captured at least 250 conscript soldiers who were on the border. Russian media claim that the Russian military command is now massively transferring conscripts to the Kursk region and taking away their mobile phones. Parents are being urged to mentally prepare for the fact that their children will take part in military operations.